we will start with putting the drum in position. Start on the vibration motor side. The three covers should be positioned downwards. We need to use these tools. We use spanners, sockets, allen keys, torque wrench and a small ratchet. We also use a half inch bar and also a half inch ratchet wrench. We will start to remove the three manhole covers. I will use a socket and extension bar. We will now remove the special tool from the manhole cover. Remove the oil plug and the positioning bolt. Now it's time to use the special tool. Make sure you put it in the right place. Look at the shape. And then you need to rotate to get the position in right. And then mount the bolt. Uh, we will remove the vibration motor and uh, leave the horses here during the change. Remove the spline shaft and put it on a clean space. Now we're going to release the belt tensioner. I will going to use the Allen key and a T handle. Loosen the two Allen head bolts. Do not remove by using Allen key. Use a reversible ratchet through the square hole at the tensioner. Turn clockwise on vibration motor side of the drum to its stops and then retighten the two Allen bolts. Remove the three bolts from the cover. Turn the cover, insert the bolts and use it as a puller to remove the belt wheel from the conic shaft. Remove the timing belt. Bend the belt over the pulley. Push the belt into the drum and retract it from a manhole. Here is a new belt from Dynapack Parts, which we're going to mount. Attach the belt first on the drive shaft, center axle. Then to the eccentric shaft. Now it's time to remove the cover from the belt wheel 
and then we're going to reassemble the belt wheel on the belt. Make sure the bolts are mounted at the inner ring of the cover to the belt wheel. Reassemble the tooth belt wheel and tighten the bolts 8.4 newton meters. Now it's time to change the belt on the other side. So we need to move the machine to get the manhole covers pointing downwards on the other side. Tighten the belt tensioner. Loosen the two Allen head bolts. Do not remove by using Allen key. Turn counterclockwise on vibration motor side by spring force. Make sure the belt tensioner operates smoothly. If needed, use a thin multipurpose lubricant that penetrates and dissolves rust. Yeah. Then retighten the two Allen bolts. Let's make sure the belt is tightened. Feel with your hand. Yes, it's okay. I will now remove the special lock tools on both sides of the machine. Refit the oil plugs and lock positioning bolt. We will now mount the covers back again on the machine. We will now mount the spline shaft back and put the vibration motor into place. We are now finished with the belt change in less than two hours.